film is Carlos. Now, I'd like to say something about Carlos. About my friend Carlos? Yes. Cool. <laughs> You, do you have a friend named Carlos? No, you don't. I've known people named Carlos, a number of them. Do, do you know this guy? No, it, I don't know. Who did, is he? Uh, he? Carlos the Jackal, who was a Venezuelan terrorist in the 70s and 80s. Did you know him? I may have. Okay, exactly. i got to go check my role in Well, I hope you didn't, because yeah. okay, here's the thing with Carlos. So, uh, Carlos, which was made, uh, is actually made for French television, and it's uh, getting a brief theatrical release, and then at the same time, it's on the Sundance Channel. But let me tell you something about Carlos. Carlos... It's five and a half hours long. <laughs> five and a half hours long, Wade. I hear you, you realize that Carlos is five and a half hours long. Yeah. And because I love this show, and I love our listeners, viewers, whoever you are, I watched five and a half hours of Carlos, Wade. Five and a half hours of Carlos, Wade. Can I tell you something? Huh. It's really good. Is it? It's great. It only felt like four and a half. Huh? It was so good. It only it felt, felt like, like five twenty-five. Yeah. It was fantastic. <laughs> you know, that's like that's like a month. That's like more than a month's worth of uh, Desperate Housewives. I've never seen Desperate, Desperate Housewives. Why would you watch Desperate? Oh, whatever. <laughs> of course. Anyway, Stay away so from TV. Stick to movies. So Carlos was was directed by Olivier Assayas, and he is a director who I do like a lot. Don't like all of his films. His last film, Summer Hours, won the Oscar for Best Foreign Film. And sort of an an upset. People thought it yeah. would be a profit. It wound up being Summer Hours. And this is his new one. Again, it was done for uh, it was done for uh, French television. And before we talk about the film, what it's about, what I thought of it, let's take a look at a clip. Momento de acción. Planeta, todos los revolucionarios juntos luchando al mismo tiempo. Tú me dices arrogante, pues si sí, no jodas, soy un arrogante. How long have you been with us? Mm -hmm. You are still a boy. I need man. So you don't trust me because I'm young? You have to prove yourself. Like you, I strongly believe that the Palestinian struggle should take on an international level. And I will be honored to contribute some of my modest skills. Choose a good name. It's it's such an interesting story. Uh, Edgar Martinez plays Carlos, and he when uh, when Carlos was young, he joined this pro-Palestinian uh, revolutionary group, and he was pretty flamboyant. He really wanted to be part of this pro-Palestinian group. He wound up taking hostages at the French Embassy, which is a big famous event back in France during the 70s. And uh, also, so that's pretty much part one of the movie. Part one of the movie is Carlos establishing himself with his pro-Palestinian group and uh, taking hostages at the French Embassy. Part two is really bravura stuff. It's the entire part two pretty much is when uh, Carlos and a bunch of his other revolutionary friends wound up taking hostages at an OPEC summit meeting. And the whole idea there was that these revolutionaries were afraid, Carlos was afraid, that some of these OPEC oil ministers were starting to side with the West, which of course if you side with the West, you're siding with Israel, and Carlos doesn't like that. And then part three winds up being kind of his downfall. And what I, what I loved about the film is that even though it's five and a half hours long, it's exciting. It is very clean storytelling. It is all really well done. The guy who plays Carlos is fantastic. There's a lot of riveting set pieces. Again, this this OPEC hostage taking crisis is like an hour and twenty minutes of the film, and it's great because you get in, you get into all the machinations of, of what he wants, and he can't get it. Is he going to get the plane? Can the plane fly where he wants it to fly? Will the the whole idea is that the OPEC minister is supposed to be assassinated? Will Carlos actually do that? If he doesn't, what are the ramifications? Gets into the whole thing. So. So part two is fantastic. It starts to um, it starts to get into a slog a little bit in part three because what happens is Carlos eventually he starts as a revolutionary who really believes what he believes, but then and then and then he starts to kind of believe his own press. He wears the beret that Che Guevara wore. He starts to become this international figure, this famous international terrorist. And then when the world starts to change, he doesn't really know where he fits, so he just sort of becomes a mercenary. And then he sort of loses his ideals and he just sort of goes with whoever will pay him. So and then he sort of loses what with the fire that he had at the beginning. And this whole arc is played out really uh, very slowly, obviously, because it's five and a half hours, but it's played out really cleanly and slowly and logically, and it's really interesting. The thing is, is that because it doesn't end in this Scarface blaze of glory, it does peak a little soon. It peaks pretty much after the OPEC hostage-taking crisis, because, again, uh, the end of it is not that you know he's he's buried in a amount of cocaine like Scarface. He really just sort of fritters away. So it, the movie does peak kind of soon, and the ending itself is a little soft, but it, it's truthful to what what happened to him. But it is soft. But again, I'll take that.
because everything that came before it is so exciting and so well done and so well mounted. All the characters who come in and out of his story, the arc of Carlos, it's just really interesting stuff. So it's really good. Uh, so when we're talking about the entire spectrum of, uh, of, of overlong movies about psychopaths, um, yes. better than Che. I didn't like Che. I didn't either. And it sounds like the same trajectory as Mayreen. Did you ever see the second half of Mayreen, to be honest? Uh, yes, I did. It's good, right? It is good. See? When Wade and I talked about a film called Mayreen, which is about a French terrorist. Well, a, a criminal. A criminal. You know, yeah, it's yes. a very a famous, basically like the, you know, Bonnie and Clyde and, and Dillinger and all those guys wrapped into one. Add another 16 hours and you've got yourself Carlos. Okay. That's how That it was is. four and a half hours. You know, Mayreen was four and a half hours. Mayreen was four and a half. Well, what, you know, as we said before, this was made for French television. So, um, and even though it was made and for Mayreen French... Mayreen was made for Swedish television. Isn't that weird? Not really. Okay. So, uh, it was made for French television, but it's still very cinematic. Yeah. You know, we've talked about the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo yeah. trilogy, where the first one was, is a film, mm -hmm. but the second two were made for television. Yeah. So, the second two of the, of, of the Girl with the Dragon Tattoo trilogy, yes. they feel a little more TV than the first one, whereas this one feels cinematic all the way through. It's really well done. Why are you smiling? What are you thinking? I, what you, Wade's got a thing in his thing. I don't, he wants I don't. To say I'm, just, I'm just thinking of all of these great, great European television productions, and I'm thinking, what do we have here? We've got, I don't know, some Justine Bateman movie from 1985. <laughs> really true. No, but you we know, we just don't have great television here. It's no, but see, here's the thing, you know, the, the, and this is getting off Carlos, which if you know, look, Carlos is also being released in in, in one combined uh, two and a half hour chunk. Now I didn't see the two and a half hour chunk because I love this show and our viewers. I watched the whole damn which, five and a half hours. Which cut? Uh, huh? Which cut is going to be awards eligible? It's interesting, you know. First of all, a lot of it is in English. Mm -hmm which the Academy always has a problem with because the percentage of the movie has to be yeah. in a foreign language. Also, it premiered on French television. <clears throat> and it's on the Sundance Channel. But in terms of qualification as just in general for Oscar consideration, for regular Oscar, not as a foreign language film, but just regular Oscar, best picture, best director, all that kind of stuff, does it, it, is one of those two cuts going to qualify? Because, like Das Boat, for example. Das Boat was recut into about a you know two and a half hour film originally on German television, but it was released here as a two and a half hour film and qualified as a feature film released in the United States in the calendar year 1983. I I, I, I I think it could look. Nobody's going to watch the five and a half hour version. So yeah. the two and a half hour version is the one that. But the is the, is the five members. and a half hour also being released theatrically? That could, that can. Yes, no. The five well. and a, the five and a half hour is the one that's being released uh, uh, on Friday. Okay, but not simultaneously with IFC? Well, never mind. We'll Wait, why do, get, get, get more inside out. baseball, Wade. Okay. Let's talk about the uh, theatrical right. distribution strategy of the platforming release. Okay. Of the, no, we can't do that. All right. It's way too boring. Okay, so here's what we've learned. We've learned that Hereafter, I didn't buy it, you liked it. I like it quite a lot. Uh, Carlos, I think most people will enjoy it, but if you're just kind of a cynical old bastard like you are, you probably won't. Well, it's not very nice. No, it's not. <laughs> uh, Carlos, I liked a lot. I thought, thought it was just terrific. If you, well, I, I if, guess I'll, I guess I'll watch it then. If you can't, <laughs> I haven't had time. If if you can't, uh, if you can't spend five and a half hours on it, I totally get it. Try to seek out the two and a half hour version, or if you have the Sundance Channel, check it out on the Sundance Channel, because it's very, very good. Cool. All right, so that's it, Wade. That's this weekend in movies. <laughs> <laughs>